What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital. We're here with Morgan Lextrom, now CEO of Silver Hammer Mining. How are you doing today, Morgan? I'm fantastic. Thanks, Aaron. Yes, I'm excited to have you back. So can you start with some updates on the company and everything you've been up to since we last spoke? Oh, it's been a, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, we last time we spoke, we had just brought in our Nevada assets and we went full steam ahead on them. We started doing geochem work. We just ran a whole bunch of mapping and sampling programs at both Eliza and Silverton. So we have a lot of catalysts coming out of each one of those properties here very soon. Also it helped us understand exactly what was going on in those properties. And they're super exciting assets. Not only do we have the Idaho asset, but these two Nevada assets now are, are huge potential for massive, large exploration as well as production. Love it. So, you know, the big news obviously is you're now CEO. Tell us about that and how it happened. Yeah, I mean, it came right after we uh, decided to change the name to Silverhammer. I mean, that was that was a big change for us because we're no longer a single asset company. We wanted we wanted that name to really symbolize what we wanted to do as a company. And you know, it sounds cliche, but dropping the silver hammer is truly what we want to do. We we want to be the next big silver silver producing company in the world. So this is the start of that. And after that, it came through, and you know, it just made sense. I, I'm steering the ship with the team in the background, so. Having the CEO title seemed like a natural fit. The team agreed and the work just went like that. <laughs> awesome. So, you know, the company recently commenced phase one drilling at the Silver Strand mine in Idaho. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so this was really exciting for us because we were planning on doing an only surface program and we had to think outside the box quite a bit with this because the permitting process in the U.S. Forest Service it does take time, right? And, and because we're a newly formed company, you know, we're only been around for about five months now, we had to think outside the box. So we, we redesigned a permitting and drilling process to use on surface, but we also went into our underground, rehabilitated it, put in a new a drift and a new drill bay, which really gave us better access to an ore body that wasn't accessed before. So the old drill bay was sitting right on top of the ore body. And when, when you talk about mining, you need to be stepped out from it. You talk about trying to drill it. You need to be able to hit it at an angle versus mm -hmm. straight down because then you're not testing anything. So we made that call. We're mobilizing drills right now into the underground and we're going we're gonna to run a drilling program. The return on investment in drilling from underground is significantly higher than drilling from surface. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So, you know, in regards to your other projects, can you give us some updates? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, the projects in Nevada, we we acquired those a couple months ago now, and we went hard on them. We hired a separate geologist. We went we went right down there. I spent a week on site with a gentleman named Dave Forrest, who we, we got these projects from, trying to understand the lay of the land, the geology. And we came up with really comprehensive programs for such a short term, including mapping and sampling. And the geochem work we just finished as well on our Silverton project, that's that exciting project that has a half silver. And then the other half is that round mountain style gold deposit, unwelded tough, you know, anywhere from 0.2 to six grams a ton gold. While those aren't splashy numbers, those are very good ore grade mine building numbers. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, what's next for Silverhammer in the short term? Short term, we have a number of catalysts coming out. Obviously, our drilling in Idaho, getting that, getting the core results from that, understanding that ore body more, um, the results from the ELISA program, the sampling, the mapping, the results from the Silverton program, the geochem, the sampling, the mapping there. So there'll be no shortage of exciting news coming out, along with a lot of other, other things that I think people will be pleasantly surprised with. So stay tuned on that front. Yeah, it sounds like we'll have some exciting interviews to come. So now let's talk about silver. I mean, this is a question that gets asked a million times, but if you had to guess, where does silver end 2021? That's funny. I was just at the New Orleans conference and you listen to a lot of speakers and, and been in this industry. A lot of people have been in this industry for you know, 30, 40 years talking about silver and where it's going. And I, I think it's, it's starting its run and you're going to see this run up where it goes at the end of the year. You know, you're two, we're two months away from the end of the year. I'd hope it sticks around that 25 to 26 mark. But after that, it is truly a launching pad. I, I really believe that. I believe in this next year to two, you're going to see some really big moves in silver. I mean, people have been predicting it for a long time, yeah. but they haven't had 
things like COVID. They haven't had transitory inflation, which we no longer think is transitory. Mm. They haven't had these catalysts to kick silver in the butt. The industrial needs, the solar panel mm. um, technology increase. So there's so many catalysts for silver to take off. It's, it's just going to. Yeah, I sure hope so as well. So where should investors go for more information about the company? Yeah, it's uh, www.silverhammermining.com. And you can go to the bottom of the page and get a hold of Christina Pilon, our head of IR. And, um, you know, look us up on LinkedIn, take a look at our websites, any, any way through that. Awesome, Morgan. Well, thank you so much for all the updates. And we'll definitely have you back. It's going to be an exciting end to the year. I think so, too. Thanks. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.